Hey guys, welcome to the channel of SGS Media. We hope you will enjoy our following top 10 movie ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments, and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. The Flowers of War. An American tries to protect a group of Chinese students and prostitutes from Japanese soldiers in 1937, Nanjing. One of the most beautiful movie I've ever watched, it's just mesmerizing. The movie is based upon a true history of Japanese brutality during the war which is disturbing. Every actor has done an excellent job of portraying their character. I'd recommend this movie to everyone it's a gruesome but a emotional and beautiful movie. Number 9. Sky Hunter. After graduating from flight school, a group of pilots join an elite military group. Engage terrorists in a high-risk mission. Very simplistic story but good aerial graphics, in general, and technology. The film is action-packed, exciting, suspenseful and just damn great fun. If you are in for aerial combat, then this is it. It has the best aerial fight scene since Top Gun. Other than that this movie shows brotherhood, comradeship, romance and love. It was entertaining from beginning to end. Number 8. The 800. A truly amazing feat of filmmaking feat. A great war movie with epic fight scenes and a strong message. The story is about 400 National Party Chinese soldiers hold a warehouse for four days. The warehouse is on the opposite side of British settlement in Shanghai. It stands for the hell as those Chinese soldiers fight hard with Japanese Imperial soldiers. The battle scene were good with bullets flying and explosion everywhere. This is a really good war movie. The movie isn't long on expository, it throws you right into the action. Number 7. Back to 1942. A difficult film to watch, but an important one. This is an epic and interesting movie about the famine in a place called Henan, during the 1942 Japanese war which took 3 million people's lives. It follows a wealthy family who are forced to flee Henan, with the rest of the many families who struggle to reach a better place, which will supply them with food and shelter. They ended up thinking that dying was a blessing, because the journey became too much for the people of Henan and the ones that survived, had to live with the fact that they lost their families and loved ones in such a terrible way. It is one of the best Chinese movies in the past decade. Number 6. Death and Glory in Changde. A 2010 Chinese war film based on the events in the Battle of Changde in 1943 during the Second Sino-Japanese War. The Chinese title of the film literally means, bloodbath, isolated city, the uniforms, weapons, and sets looked great. There were a few cheesy moments related to the romantic subplot but the story overall was solid. The action is rather well done and gets intense at times. The ending felt tacked on but gets the job done. Number 5. Operation Mekong. The Chinese government launches a daring operation to arrest a violent drug cartel following the discovery of 13 Chinese crew members' bodies on two ships sailing through the Mekong River. A wonderful movie with its gripping storyline and action stunts. Loved Eddie Peng's military avatar in the film. As a Chinese action movie, they have done their best to make it. Great combat and shooting scenes. Number 4. Wolf Warrior 2. China's deadliest special forces operative settles into a quiet life on the sea, but when sadistic mercenaries begin targeting nearby civilians, he must leave his newfound peace behind, and return to his duties as a soldier and protector. Story is simple but its representation is mind-blowing. Its story revolves around Africa and China, where a wolf warrior which loses her love of first part of the movie live a retired life, and now get involved in a new war, where he is protecting a girl. Acting was good. Lead actress look really gorgeous. Number 3. City of Life and Death. All the more powerful for being filmed in black and white. Japanese forces invaded Nanjing, the former capital of the Republic of China on December 9, 1937. Throughout the following six weeks, soldiers raped thousands of women and annihilated hundreds of thousands of innocent civilians, with mass executions, crowds mown down by firing squads and victims digging their own graves. The scenes are closest to reality. Amazing movie. Number 2. Operation Red Sea. Operation Red Sea is the best movie by far compared to any Hollywood movies thus far. 
It offers everything a fan of action war blockbusters would ever with from the genre. It describes the war scene by a realistic approach, that many people feel too bloody after watching the movie. A Chinese special forces unit must rescue their fellow citizens in the country of Uair on the Arabian Peninsula amidst violent coup and threats from a terrorist group. If you're looking for an action-packed, gripping and must-watch film, I highly recommend this. Number 1. Assembly. A soldier fights to gain recognition for the comrades who died during the Chinese Civil War. An excellent film, realistic and convincing battle scenes worthy of any Hollywood blockbuster. Ultimately, Assembly is an ambitious film. It combines drama and action, and in both aspects, doesn't hold back in bringing about the best it probably could. Kudos go to actor Zhang Hanyu who plays Captain Ji Yu, in what can be essentially a one-man show, putting focus of his place in history and his solo fight against the system. And after watching this, you'll probably won't hesitate to watch another war movie coming out of China. Once again thank you to everyone that watched till the end. And I'll see you guys in the next one.